hello everyone in the last video i gave you the introduction of existence and uniqueness related to the solution of initial value problem and uh, theory part have been discussed in that video okay so if you just recall that one there is some drawback i have observed it carefully and i found some drawback you can say some mistakes also but i was expecting that some of you may comment unfortunately that didn't happen so look at no problem everything was fine except this one it was earlier del f del x in my previous video i mentioned that it was del f del x but observe carefully whenever you are considering lipschitz condition these are interrelated hmm Lipschitz condition here look at mod of f of x comma y1 minus f of x comma y2 no change in the x component only change in the y component that means it should be something like del f del y type of thing because x the component x is fixed or kept as it is so it must be del f del y type of thing and whenever we solve this kind of problem you will stuck some point of view when if we consider del f del x you will stuck definitely stuck so in other words it is exactly del f del y must be continuous function of x y in that given domain and everything except that it is fine no problem these are your assumption or hypothesis and this is your conclusion that solution will exist in certain interval and interval is given like this way okay fine so this is all about in yesterday's video and now we will come to solve another problem in fact the first problem of this topic i am taking a very easy problem first one consider consider this initial value problem dy dx 5x square plus 9y square and this is your initial condition y0 it is equal with 0 and this is your in fact this condition means you have your d in your hand it means the domain is given in your hand look at if we simply take this one that is nothing but mod of x minus 0 less or equal to 1 and y minus 0 less or equal to 1 isn't it just uh, recall the previous fact this is your a this is your b a b and now if you try to draw this in your copy then you have look at mod of x less or equal to 1 that means you have minus 1 less or equal to x less or equal to 1 similarly you have minus 1 less or equal to y is then equal to 1 so you have the domain like this say so this is and finally you have here something like that this is y minus 1 y equal to 1 and this is x equal to 1 this is x equal to minus 1 so this is your domain or the d we are considering fine okay and now come to this initial value problem here the initial value problem dy dx it is this one so your f f x y it is this clear this is continuous function as well in that domain there is no problem and moreover you just find del f del y it is 18 y it is also satisfying the given condition okay first two hypothesis is satisfied okay fine now in this problem they are asking what will be the largest interval in which the solution of the initial value problem exists so for that purpose in that given formula you have x minus x naught less or equal to h here look at your x naught is nothing but zero so it is x minus zero is or equal to this h and h means h means minimum of a comma b by 
m fine now look at minimum of you have a means this is 1 b also 1 and m means m means the maximum value of this function this function in the given domain in that given domain what will be the maximum value of that function this is the main thing here look at f x y 5 x square plus 9 y square this is your f x y and if you simply take 1 1 point or minus 1 minus 1 point or 1 minus 1 or minus 1 1 just simply the corner points simply the corner points of this square then you will get f at all these points it is equal with 14 and that is nothing but the maximum value of that function in that given domain okay it is just intuitively i have drawn this conclusion otherwise you just follow the formal way or the formal method to find maximum value of a function just maximum minimus concept okay you have to do otherwise but intuitively we can observe here that its maximum value it is going to be 14 and obviously it appears on the boundary okay here it is 14 so minimum of 1 comma 1 by 14 it is 1 by 14 so you have x minus 0 less or equal to 1 by 14 that implies your mod x less or equal to 1 by 14 and that is minus 1 by 14 less than x less than equal to by 14 that is the required interval it is 1 by minus 1 by 14 so this is the you can say largest interval in which the solution of the initial value problem will exist fine so this is the procedure to tackle this kind of problem in the exam look at here i have just drawn this diagram for your understanding purpose you can easily skip that one in the exam no problem but the main concept behind this problem should be clear okay look at this step may take a little time but uh, you can easily use your in intuition to find out what is going to be the maximum value because here the domain is not so much complicated that's why we can draw this kind of conclusion otherwise we have to use or follow the formal method to find maximum of a function okay and i hope you got the point and one thing you must notice here it is del f del y not del f del x okay so all this thing you have in your hand uh, from this problem you got all these things and in the next video we will study another little complicated problem related to this area so just follow the videos and if you find something helpful then share the videos with your friends thank you